So a federal appeals court on Tuesday signaled it would reject Donald Trump's arguments that he could not be criminally prosecuted for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results because it involved actions he took while president, questioning uh, such an expansive view of executive power. So he said, I was president, so I could do whatever I want, yeah. basically. So. He literally said uh, that they said that he could assassinate the vice president and still get away with it because he's the president. Mm -hmm. And that is a sure sign of dementia. <laughs> Are you, you're not allowed to do that. It, it, it was an example that they used to, you know, of course, when it got blown up, blown up in the media, it was Donald Trump thinks he can kill the vice yeah. president. Yeah. Uh, didn't he say he could shoot somebody uh, in the street? In, uh, yeah, but he was Times Square. Even that, what he was saying, he was he was saying his popularity is so high that he mm -hmm. could literally shoot somebody in the streets and still be, you know, he was uh, making a joke. And his uh, popularity actually went up after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like, See? Uh, well, listen, there you people go. like people with balls. Yeah, you know, and that's that's what he's got. He's got balls. I don't know. I still have no idea right now what's going to happen. We were just talking off the air. I said Nikki Haley wins New Hampshire. And she comes on strong, and they continue with this. Donald Trump is, you know, on trial and having all these problems, or whatever, and he's unable to run, or or they don't allow him to run, or whatever. She could very likely be the next president. Oh, she smoked past uh, DeSantis. Yeah. Well, it, it's interesting because I saw there is a debate that's going to be just her and De, uh, DeSantis. Yeah, because yeah, they're the yeah. two leaders right now. Well, so well, they ousted Ramaswamy. Yeah, I know he was super pissed because uh, he didn't meet like, and he was yeah. like, "This is just basically." The same as it always did. Yeah, they they push out. Well, yeah, they, not only do they push you out, but they also don't ask the questions that you yeah. should be asking. You don't, They don't hold them to answers, you know no. what I mean? Any of that stuff. It's all just a blah, 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 blah. It's kind of like NASCAR. If you race and you, and you and don't, NASCAR guys don't get mad at me. This is one of my impression of it is if you race and you make the time and you get the sponsor and all that stuff, you can get in. So if you don't, if you don't have the qualifications to get in, but you can pay to get in, then you can then you can enter. So Ramaswamy has been, uh, hey, I don't really have all the following that I need, but I can pay my way mm -hmm. through. And now in this one, you need to have a certain amount in the yeah. polls before okay. they let you in. The d debates are like entertaining, but people, if you're like trying to draw your decision based on the de debate, that's just silly. And did opinion. you see Ramaswamy was hanging out with um, Paul, which Logan one Paul? Of Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah. That's his thing. Go to the younger. The younger that's what I'm saying. Demo. Trying to get his. But uh, these numbers debates up. are so contrived by the network that they're on. Like you can only. Oh, yeah. But the so thing, much. Geo, is that if you need to know a person's demeanor, you can you can get a good idea. Yeah. Like we saw exactly what Trump was when he was out there. We were like that lunatic is yelling at everybody. And and it was great. Most people loved it. But he uh, you could see exactly what they're like. Yeah. And, but uh, like, me personally, I can't imagine making a decision just based on watching the debate. Which no, I know a lot of people do. Yeah, a lot of, a people, lot of do. people do less than that. They watch a debate and like, oh, that's my guy or whoever. I, you know? I think that if I don't really know enough, uh, I like Nikki Haley because I used to watch her when she was with the uh, the United Nations, and I thought, well, she seems really smart and she seems, you know, you know what she's doing. And she went against Trump a couple of times. I go, like, oh, that's somebody with balls. That's pretty good. Uh, and then you watch them on the debate, and and it comes across like you say, just the same cookie cutter thing. Yeah. You know, like, hey, eh. Have you seen the flip flop video of Nikki Haley? No, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure it, they're all out there. Yeah, everything she said, like before she was running, like I would never vote for this, and she's like, I vote to do this, and yeah. I'm gonna do it strong. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like one minute of her just flip flopping back and forth, and, and I'm gonna like, do it yeah. in high heels. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right. I was like, Ugh. Uh, by the way, Ramaswamy going out with Logan Paul is much like uh, Bill Clinton going out and playing saxophone yeah. on our city yeah. hall yeah. show. Yeah. It's good. Whoa. He yeah, Bill, they called Bill Clinton the MTV president. Yeah. He was the first one to really cater to that younger demo. But Ramaswamy, it seemed like the whole time that he's just trying to raise his profile, get the name out there for, you know, he's very Smart young. Move. Yeah. So, Smart move. Smart yeah. move. He's now a guy who was in third place to possibly mm -hmm. be the president. So when he jumps in next time, his he's already an established yeah. name. Yeah, or if he never build, build, runs build. again yeah, and yeah. he just uses his clout now to be, I mean, who could say Vivek yeah. Ramaswamy before? Yeah. Now you we're win. all like it. You win even though you lose. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, we were talking about Trump there. So like American speaking, Idol. <laughs> speaking of Trump, Melania Trump's mother passed away. She was only one year older than Donald Trump. Oh, oh that's funny. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's a little funny. weird. Hot. That's a little weird. Not fat or orange. <laughs> uh, it was uh, a day like uh, no other day uh, at the TC television studio in Ecuador with its mid-afternoon newscast underway when masked gunmen burst oh. in 
unleashing at least 15 minutes of threats and fear all over the live broadcast. We have some video on Bone TV. Uh, first, a man with a pistol appeared in the middle of the uh, public TV station's live transmission, followed by a second man with a shotgun, and then third and more uh, with the show uh, shows after the news title behind them. Station employee were brought onto the set in order to lie down. Uh, it seems like some of these guys were actually holding dynamite as well. Screams could be heard, followed by the uh, so sounds of gunshots. Uh, police officers entered the TV station and subdued the attackers. They did? Yeah, who can face up to 13 years in prison if 13? they're convicted? 13? It doesn't seem like it should be a lot more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. guy had dynamite in his hand. Yeah. So so they went in there and just took him down? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. I um I just imagine the Ecuador news is just a real sad guy on TV going, <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? They ever see them? They have no emotions on their faces. just read yeah. <laughs> And then they go to the weather, and it's just the hottest girl yeah, ever in a yeah. tiny oh, dress. Oh, mamma mia. Yeah. Thank, uh, you, thank you, Southern. Tampa Bay Lightning opened a four-game homestand with a 3-2 to two overtime win against the uh, visiting Los Angeles Kings. Uh, by the way, I was looking at that last night, looking at the score, and it was 2-0 in the third, and I was like, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. And then they wound up coming back and winning. Uh, and that gave Coach John, John Cooper his 500th career victory. The Lightning are at home tomorrow to take on the New Jersey Devils. At the Emily Arena, puck drop is at 7 p.m. I jumped in and made a little extra, a little pizza money. Oh, oh, hey. I, say, I don't know much about hockey to try and bet, but I'm getting into it now. Yeah. So the good thing about hockey is most of the games are low scoring. Yeah. And if you get an underdog with a two point spread, take it yep. because most of the time the games are two nothing. And if you get a two point five, um, I did not watch the game because I don't even know where they show them now. Uh, but I. Uh, I you, think it might go tomorrow. You're fine now, though. No, now. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, you know, it's not still not as easy as going. He doesn't there. know. Oh, I know. <laughs> he I doesn't know. know. I, was, I was too busy watching the Aeros tour again last night. Thank you, very much. Uh, you have the uh, Devils tomorrow night, and then uh, Saturday the Ducks, and both at home. Ooh, maybe I'll go Saturday mm -hmm. because my wife has a friend coming into town. I don't want to be friends with them. Oh, okay. You don't want to be friends with her? No, no, I don't. Like, I don't want to hang out with them. It's like her best friend, and they get together and do best friend things. I don't want to be a part of that. Let them go, go stay at the condo and talk about girls. Oh, my In my mind, you guys are lesing out when I'm out there anyway. So yeah. They don't, but I wish they did. Uh, the Powerball has reset following a massive jackpot, but the Mega Millions jackpot continues to climb, reaching $187 million. Ahead of Friday's drawing. Here we go, baby. 187 yeah. million. Gonna be rich. Be nice. I gotta tell you, I've not been lucky on the scratch offs. No? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I whenever I stop to get a Powerball ticket or Mega Millions or whatever, I'll get a scratch off or two or mm -hmm. nine. Uh and uh <laughs> yeah, I just uh, haven't really the I just like will win twenty bucks, yeah. which is what the ticket is, and then I'm like, Ugh. I won fifty dollars a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, lost my ticket. Uh, <laughs> uh, lost my scratch off. Oh. And everybody yells at me. Yeah, Is fifty dollars on what was the? Uh, how much it was the ticket? Was the oh, it was a twenty dollars ticket. 20? It's right. that gold, uh, gold, gold rush. rush limited. Yeah, yeah. unlimited. Yeah, I won fifty dollars. Like hell yeah, and I put it on my nightstand. Can't find it. Oh, hey, uh, do you know where I'd look? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Uh, no, no, no. Old sticky fingers yeah. over here. The scrounge. Yeah. Do you think Joe knows shoes? Do you think he knows how to take it? And <laughs> Get money for it? No, no, no definitely yeah, I, not. He I, brought in tickets to the uh, 7-Eleven the other day that I'm pretty sure were 18 years old, and he's like, "I'm gonna scan these." Scan? Yeah, scan. Well, they scan, but they won't. They won't yeah. be a winner, <laughs> even if they were a winner. Yeah, too late. If yeah. they're expired, yeah. That's right. So I'm says, telling you right now, where you can scan your own tickets. By the way, don't tell me about the app. The app yeah, is garbage. No. Yeah. The app's garbage. It even tells you not to trust yeah. it. Right. Can I tell you though? Also, I've been using the app. Uh, I tested it. With the winner, I tested it with the loser, and it worked accurately. So I went through some of them with the app, and it was working pretty good. I'd I still do it. Yeah. I just use it as a backup, as a double okay. check. But here's the other thing: is the scanner that they have there at the store, not the clerk that has it behind the counter, the one that has yeah. it right there, whatever. That thing's BS. Really? You know why? Yeah, you know why? Because you can literally do this: like put it under the scanner, and here's the scanner over here, and I hold it here, and it goes boop, and I go, ah, I'm not even near it, and then I go over here, and it goes. Doesn't do anything, and then I go over here and it boop boop. And then I put calibrations off. Yeah, you know what I'll say. I put my phone under it. Goes boop, and I go oh. over here and read my phone. Yeah, you don't know. I want to hear the dun dun dun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what That's why for. I take it to the clerk and I do it, and I you know appreciate them helping yeah. me out, and I realize that I have a bunch of tickets and stuff, but do it. That's yeah. your job. Yeah. Because <laughs> that other thing doesn't work. Yeah.
I don't believe this that. is the Galvin said, do it. That's your job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Reverse it. Galvin's like, it's right there. Do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's it doesn't work. Right there. Yeah. If it works, yeah. do it yourself. Yeah. You'd work. rather do it yourself. Yeah. Oh, I totally would. I don't want to have to deal with people. Yeah. 